In this video from Sharp Out, we're taking a quick look at how you can force the GT or Grand Total to reset on your end of day Z report on the XCA 213 and 302 registers. Uh, so in this video I'm using the 213 where the process will be the same across the range. So you, if you're familiar with the machine you'll know that when you do an end of day report, as standard you get these GT figures appearing on the, um, on the Z report, which is fine. But to, what I like to try and do, or some people like to try and do, is to try and minimise the amount of information you get in on the um, end of day report um, to just make it easier to reconcile the balance for the day so you can either remove or force those GTs to reset. Um, the process for doing it is shown on that bit of paper I've got on the register and I've kind of calculated that from if you've got access to the manual page 65 is useful because that's the flow chart you follow and then you're looking for job code 64 so there's all different settings so when you if you're familiar with programming the sharp tools when you go into the job codes there's lots of different settings you're changing so you can actually you can stop the gt printing on the report as well as forcing it to reset. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it to print, but I'm going to force it to reset. So that's where I've got this. The 64 is the job code, and then each of this A, B, C, D, and so on have a numeric value depending on which option you're choosing. So you don't have to follow my video exactly, um, but it should give you enough information to, to reprogram the till so it works best, works best for you. So if you turn the key, once you've chosen your code there you turn the key the ma key round to the pgm position then you press subtotal you type in 64 because it's job code 64 you then press the multiply button here and then you enter the code so yours might not be exactly the same as mine so for example if you were wanting the gt to not print at all you would select no for there one and then gt2 would be one so you'd have potentially three ones at the start of your code but my code is one two three four zeros five six zeros then one zero followed by subtotal tlns now when i um if i quickly run some sales through and then run an end of day report one tlns so my GT is printing, then when I rerun the report, remember it hasn't reset yet, it's now reset. So if I run it again, if I go back and into Reg and program, uh, put through some sales, and then do another Z1 report, so as if another day has transpired, the GT's on there, but it's only the value of that day. So it's £24, because I've done £24 of sales that trading period, whereas the GT before, was at 6,300 and you can prove the, prove the point by running the report again and the GTs are at zero. Okay, hope that video has been helpful. Uh, we've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the XCA213 and other sharp registers. Some of those videos will be appearing on screen now so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.